welcome to my channel, Crafting with Joanne Barandi. That's me. Amiguitas, amigos, gracias por acompañarme hoy. Este día vamos a hacer un proyecto muy fácil. Friends, today we are going to create the beehive. And the first thing you're going to need is a pattern. And I've already got it all ready for you. And it's going to be included in the link under the description. Okay, I cut out my pattern. And I'm not going to cut it out on camera on the stencil, but I'm going to tell you that I picked up this piece. This is a stencil. I mean, the. You're only not going to cut it out because you already did it in the last video. Yes, you can refer to the last video. I did the exact same thing, so I don't want to take up any more of your time doing that. However, friends, I did want to point out this is my favorite piece of styrofoam that I pick up at Walmart. And uh, I was in shock because it's gone up like. 55 cents. It used to be $4.98. Now it went up, I want to say close to 60 cents. But anyway, I picked up all they had, which was three. So um, I took my pattern, I cut it out, and then I cut it out on my styrofoam. So let's get ready to paint. I already painted the back and the sides, and I am using Apple Barrel yellow. Friends, I'm so excited to be crafting for y'all today. I was feeling kind of wonky last time, in case y'all were wondering why I was so out of it. More than usual, because <laughs> I'm kind of wonky anyway. <laughs> All right, I dip my paintbrush in the water to thin out the paint a little bit. See, make it a little bit runny because that way your paint goes on smoother. And it doesn't take as much paint. This little beehive turned out so cute. Friends, I think I'm gonna fix a garland with a beehive and some bees around it to put up above my little stove area. I'm thinking that would be so cute. See how quick that goes on? And I'm not going to sand today. I know a lot of people said, oh, y'all didn't like the sound of the sanding. But I love it. And I know some people do. Sorry, friends, if you didn't like it. <laughs> uh, try not to do it again. I don't, I don't care for it, but... Sometimes it is when what I'm it editing is. and I'm just, you know, some, I got to cut corners somewhere to save time just to That's get right. stuff out. So, Okay, Eric is not going to have to remind me because I didn't forget. Once it's wet like that, friends, go ahead and sprinkle your glitter. And I am using the chunky glitter. It's called Sun Shower and I pick it up at Walmart. And I just love the way it looks. It's perfect for the yellow. Okay, let's put this aside and let's get ready to detail. I've already got one ready for you. Let me get this out of the way so I don't stick my hand in it. Well, no, maybe not. Okay, I did forget one thing. Friends, I kind of wanted to give it this little kind of speckled look, so I took my... Um, I took this bristle brush, or you can use a toothbrush, and I took some apple barrel burnt umber paint, and I just kind of dip the brush in there for a little bit, just, and then just kind of went like this, just like. Okay, well, you're doing a good job of getting that on me. Oh, sorry. But anyway, that's what gave it this little speckled look on here. Um, after I did that, since we're doing this on camera, I'm going to go ahead and I made these little clay little um, bumblebees from a mold that was sent to me by, by my friend Debbie Williams. And I've got it in the freezer because I 
you put your clay in there and you put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes and then you, it just pops right out, friends. And after you do that and it's dried completely, I'd say for about 24 hours, I get a popsicle stick. It's another little tip that was given to us from one of our members on our Facebook group page. And I stick it on there and then I get to painting it. And I'm gonna paint it all white. Paint it all white first. And doesn't matter, you're you don't have to be precise about it because it's going to be all glittered up in the long run. Okay, then I'm going to take the yellow paint and paint some yellow on it. And these are so cute. And you can't go wrong, friends. This little mold can be found at Walmart. Now, I couldn't find it at my Walmart, but my friend Debbie Williams was so nice and found one and mailed it to me. Okay, so now I'm going to use the black slick. Normally I would give time to dry, but since we're on camera, I'm just going to Seems like I have to press really hard on this one. Okay, and then I just took some glitter, my iridescent glitter from Walmart. And you just shake it all over. And boom, you are done. I've already got one ready. Actually, several ready. And see, they just come off of the, when you're done. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead so that I don't ruin my project and cut my little piece of wire and put my B on the side. And I got this wire at Walmart, it's floral wire or craft wire. Wrap it around the pencil. And then I just stuck this end right into the honeycomb right there, into the beehive. And then I'm going to insert the, uh, the opposite end into the little bee. So the wire will go right into it, mm -hmm. into the material? I'm going to enforce it a little bit with glue. I don't think I need to, but the clay is soft enough to where um, you can puncture the little hole with the wire. All right, next while it's there, I'm going to go ahead and put the stick, my skew stick, down in the center. All right, now I'm going to stencil I'm going to go ahead and stencil the black hole 
the stencil, which by the way is provided in the link down the, below. Yes. Or the, the pattern, the, I should say. It's provided in the pattern. Uh, and this is cut out of transparency or any kind of, uh, you can even use, cut it out of paper. And we've got a, a video, a link in here on how you usually make them out of that paper, so. Yes. And you know what? That way you can turn your paper pattern into a stencil. I'm going to go ahead and use the, um, this is all wet, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to use my black slick. Maybe it'll dry quicker as paint. should probably mention that I'm going to be gone for like four weeks, so we're trying to, we're trying to cram as many videos as we can. Yes, friends. My so Eric that way I can drop them. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm going to be under pressure here. Um, Basically, she's going to have to come up with four, four weeks of work in about a week. Where are my stencil brushes? Uh, okay, I'll just use this one. Make it work. Yes, and I'm ready. I, I mean, I've got stuff ready for you, not to worry. And I'll be posting pictures of um, some other crafts that I'll be making while he's gone on my Facebook group page and also on my Instagram so, uh, friends, if you're not a member of our Facebook group page, send us a, a request to join. Oh my goodness, there are so many wonderful crafters on there. Everyone brings something different to the table, and we love everybody. Everybody is just... I might have to put up the locations I'm going to be. for. I'm traveling for work uh, as part of a production team for a challenge game show which we did last year but it was very much rush and go by a company called barstool sports which i had never heard of them but apparently everybody else i know has. they're like dude i can't believe you're working with them and he travels all over and um my little daughter-in-law gets to go with him so i know i'll be in um tampa tampa st petersburg uh nashville Madison, Wisconsin, Chicago, Illinois, and Boston. How exciting. And LA. Florida? Yep. We're in Florida. Tampa slash St. Petersburg. Okay, you said that. <laughs> I did. That's all right. <laughs> it would be so neat if we could meet you down there. All right, friends. I'm going to go ahead and I couldn't, uh, I ran out of the other brown slick, so the only slick I had was this brown puffy paint, and I'm going to make it work. It's going to be okay to outline. Uh, but typically, you use slick. Is that what she said? Well, this is slick. However, um, it's a form of slick, but I like the one that I bought at the Dollar Tree. I wish you'd have kept the jar to show. I know. I couldn't find it. It means I threw it away. I was on a cleaning rampage the other day. I don't like this as well. So let me see. I've got to take a quick look at my. Okay. Basically, I did a little curly cue here. I love to do that, in case y'all haven't noticed. Okay. Um, let me see since I'm doing it upside down. I might have to turn it my way for just a second, friends. Okay. There we go. Very, very easy. Okay, and after I did that, I took some of this um, copper looking glitter from Dollar Tree, from Qua Crafter Square, Quafter Square. Quafter Square. <laughs> okay, and uh, that's what gives it that little coppery look. I'll shine there. Let 
I thought I was all ready and had everything all lined up and um, I noticed that I'm missing my straw. But I think I eyeball one here right quick. You know, puffy paint, I'm not too familiar with it because I don't really use it, but you'd think that it would puff up more, but it doesn't, so I don't know if it does after a while on clothes or what. I don't know why they call it puff paint, but anyway, um, this is looking pretty cute. Now I'm going to take my black slick. Well, let's give me a hard time today. This is not wanting to cooperate. Well, I think we should just move on. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is just glue this little bee right there. And you can put it right on top of that slick while it's wet. These are so much fun. Okay, now we need... Yes, and I have uh, I have some right there. I'm going to use this one. It's basically generic. So, and these came from the Dollar Tree, I believe. My straws either come from the Dollar Tree or, um, and I'm putting a little bit of glue around the bottom, or Dollar General. stuck my hand in that just a little bit but oh well it'll be all right okay friends I've already got my little bow made and I'm gonna go ahead and try and glue it on there even though that's wet if it sticks to it it'll be great it won't really matter so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it and there you have it, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got more bee-themed items for you. Friends, before we sign off, I wanna say congratulations to our friend, Crazy Days of Callan. She hit a thousand subscribers and she worked so hard for it. Uh, this was several weeks ago. Congratulations, Callan. We love you, sweet girl. Yay! She does Dollar Tree hauls and she is amazing. Also, I want to thank the people who have sent me friend mail. Uh, I'll post pictures on my Facebook group page. Uh, I am so grateful for everything you have sent me and uh, your thoughtfulness is deeply appreciated. Thank you, Lizzie, Arte y Cocina. Also, Donna Fowler and also Cynthia and Chris, Krista Way and Kenneth Fuller. Oh my goodness, your gift is amazing and I'm going to treasure it forever. Debbie Williams, you know I love you and thank you for all the supplies that everybody sent me. And everyone, thanks for your love and support. And thanks for whoever sent me the big hunk bar. Oh, that was that was <laughs> Cynthia Way. Cynthia, thank you for thinking of Eric. Friends, keep on doing more of what makes you fabulous. See you next time.